What's going on, guys? This is Kosti with Sharp Trading Plays only on Pick Dogs. We are now in June, and this is the time where a lot of people decide not to play sports because they're waiting for football season. Do not sleep on the summer. The summer provides a lot, a lot of profit to get your accounting gear because you're going to be an entertainment slash watcher when it comes to football season. Baseball, college baseball, tennis, international sports, they all provide value. When you take away the absence of watching and being a fan and not caring what shape the ball is, you end up being more successful because you're not as anxious or emotionally invested into every single game that you bet. And that's what usually makes a successful sports trader. When you take the emotion out of it and you're simply doing it to churn a profit. Like in stocks, like in crypto, you're not watching that stuff every second of every day. But with sporting events, you feel like you could predict the outcome based on how things are going. And in some cases, it may work for you. But in the long run, they're all just numbers, guys. They're four-hour stocks that either hit or they don't. And there's no in between. So you can't control the outcome of any of these events. You can't control bad beats. The only thing you can control is your money management, which most people are not in tune with that. Most people bet what they have in their accounts and then they reload their accounts multiple times a week or multiple times a month, but they're not treating it like a business where they're letting it sit, they're letting it grow, and they're letting it make the necessary returns over an entire season and then just looking at the seasonal return. So like I said, be a non-emotional better, guys. It will serve you best, not only for your bankroll, but obviously for your mental health. Now to the complimentary selection, we're going to take the over in the Tampa Bay Rays-Baltimore Orioles matchup. Orioles have been scoring a lot of runs of late. Uh, this early lean, I'd like to be at home on the over side with the Orioles. Right now, we have weather where it's not too warm, so the humidity is not actually trapping the ball, and the biometric pressure is a fair number for the ball to carry and produce longer hits or even home runs. So I like the over in this matchup. Tampa Bay and the Orioles usually put up a lot of runs when they play each other. I don't believe in this Tampa Bay pitching staff and Kyle Bradish on the mound for the Orioles. I don't see him pitching anything less than about three to four runs given up. So go ahead and take the over in the Orioles Tampa Bay game as your complimentary selection. And if you like the channel, you like my videos, obviously press the like button below. Now, if you want to be a subscriber and you want to learn more about how to get access to what everything that I do myself with Eric on the syndicate betting side, shoot me a text on the number below and just text Costi and I'll personally give you a call back. Have a great day.